All right, y'all, what's going on? Goofy Rexy here. Hope everybody is doing well. And wanted to talk about a couple of things in this video. So first is going to be the thank you for playing Marvel Strike Force blog post that we got last night here, uh, which was accompanied by this in-game compensation that we got as well. We got 500 power cords yesterday in our in-game mail, 25 Loki shards, one gold orb, and then one training orb. So this essentially, they said, thank you for playing Marvel Strike Force, but it was really more of an apology for the 5,000 core screw up that happened a few weeks ago, right? So wanted to talk about that, whether or not this is enough of an apology. I saw some Reddit posts, saw some Discord messages where players feel like maybe this is not enough, but we'll go through that here in this video. But really also want to talk about some other things like where's the state of the game right now? I wanted to approach and talk about this objectively. Last night when I was on stream, I asked a question. I said, all right, guys, like let's pause here for a second. Objectively, right? Like, what do we think? that Marvel Strike Force, Balance Entertainment, Scope needs to do in order to improve Marvel Strike Force right now so that you would feel fine or feel good about the game. So they we came up with basically like three things, three top things that I saw three top things that players want that talked about a lot here. And I kind of narrowed it down and we're going to go through that here in this video. I'll be honest with you. One is like one A, then one B, then one C, uh, but we'll go through it here um, as we kind of go throughout the video. So I right, first and foremost, right, let's talk about this blog post and what they talked about here. So thank you for playing Marvel Strike Force. Last night's blog post here. Recently, we had an issue where a free web store offer erroneously went up and gave players 5,000 cores and a few extra goodies. The offer was taken down quickly, but some players had already claimed the offer. So the team made the offer available to everyone to claim. The team understands that even when an issue is fixed, it impacts your experience, good or bad. Today, players are receiving further compensation as a thank you, apology, uh, from Harvest Strike Force team to you, the player. The compensation was listed out here. Um, and then we thank you for playing and for your continued patience as we work to improve. Get ready for the blog tomorrow to contain information about Zombie Iron Man. So that information for Zombie Iron Man was technically already kind of leaked. We're just going to get an official posting of Zombie Iron Man here later on today. But whether or not this is enough compensation, is this enough of an apology? And I got kind of funneled around on Reddit a little bit, talked about it, I think a little bit on stream last night as well. And from what I'm gathering from players, they kind of feel that it's okay. Uh, personally, for me, I'm happy to get the 500 cores, right? Like I spend 600 cores a day on the Spider Weaver event. I've been kind of recoup trying to recuperate every single day uh, ever since the Spider Weaver event is done. Um, luckily, I'm, I'm doing well enough in my arena shard to be able to accumulate cores. So listen, this was actually nice for me to get. I already got my 5,000 cores from before. So like, I'm good, right? I'm, I'm kind of in a place where I'm like, all right, this, I'm kind of, this is fine. I'm ready to move on. But there are some players who are definitely still upset about this because the there were players from my understanding um, and information that was shared the day when things happened was that there were players who were able to claim that 5,000 core offer twice because they screwed up by sending it out in the web store but then they also screwed up as well by allowing it to be available for some players not everyone but for some players and also the in-game store and if that's the case i can understand why players are frustrated but i don't know how they're going to fix that right like that's i don't know if that's something that probably should have been mentioned a while ago i don't know if it's something that we want to try to keep them accountable towards and i haven't heard a lot of conversation about it i've heard some um so i wanted to talk about it but at the same time it's like do we want to really go back and try to rehash that situation or do we want to kind of move on? Because I do think that there are some things that are probably a little bit more pressing. Bugs like this are frustrating, but there's also some other stuff that we probably need to talk about as well that are going on in the game. And that kind of leads me into what I talked about last night in Marvel Strike Force. Right? There's a lot of community frustration right now in regards to a lot of other things that are going on. And one of the things, like I said, one of the, I asked last night on stream, like, what do you think MSF needs to do or needs to change? in order for you to feel good about Marvel Strike Force again. And some of the things that were brought up, number one was character cadence, right? Like right now in Marvel Strike Force, my goodness, it seems like rapid fire pace that we're getting these characters released. We just had Spider Weaver a couple weeks ago. Then right after that, we had Pony 99. And right after that, we had, or maybe I'm mixing up the, the the, the order of it here but then right after, but then right after that we have spider-man noir and i guarantee you that we're probably gonna get mr negative in the next couple of days right because we're gonna be leading up into a patch towards the at the end of this month so they want to make sure that spot that mr negatives um offer goes out first before that actually happens so 
the character cadence, the characters are being released, being released too fast and it feels overwhelming, right? It's like every week, three, every month now we're getting three to four characters per month. And then on top of that, you have these patches where we're getting six characters that are getting reworks, right? It feels overwhelming to have to go through that experience. So players are like, bro, we can't keep up in Marvel Strike Force. And I've made a video talked about this already. Stop trying to keep up in Marvel Strike Force. Go at your own pace. I made another video this week. Time to reset. What are we focusing on now? Apocalypse teams, Scourge teams, Raid teams, right? That's what we're focusing on. Um, and make that your priority as opposed to some other things here. Every now and again, you invest into some individual characters that could help you like 2099 and Cosmic Crucible, right? Like every now and again, you kind of do that. But for the most part, focus on these areas. But the character cadence is definitely becoming very taxing for a lot of these players, as long as the as well as the character release methods, right? Some of them are just really bad, too. And you have to do a lot of work to then get a minimal amount of shards. And previously before, like way back when, right? Like you would do some work and you could you could get, you would only get a three star, but you would get the three star and it wasn't like a crazy amount of work. Now it's like an excessive amount of work just to get a three star character. It doesn't feel that great. They've changed the month long event, the way that they're releasing those characters now, where it's, you get now before last month for Abomination, just orbs. This month you get orbs, you get a little bit of shards, but it's still not guaranteeing that players are going to be able to get a four star character. And once again, if you miss anything throughout the month, you are penalized for that as well. So that's very, very, very tough on players, players that have lives and players that have a lot of things to do. It really doesn't work out that well. So the character cadence, the release method, the month long events, those things are taxed and you need to be able to change those to where it's less events per month. I don't mind the month long, but have it be less things throughout the month that gives you progress towards it, I think would be a good way to go about doing this. And then also the release method feels bad because of character farmability, right? That's something that we talked about as well. Character farmability is tough, right? Like it's real, it feels so bad when you go through an event and you grind and you get a little amount of shards and or right and then, and then the character doesn't become farmable for a year like it feels terrible man when they do things like that right i i just and i definitely feel the frustration of i somebody mentioned it last night while i was on stream like listen bro i quit because i couldn't get agatha I quit because I couldn't get Agatha. It sent me back for months. You know, I had a rough period of time during that week. I had a busy work day. I couldn't really log in to do a bunch of blitzes. He could do his raids. He could do his arena attacks, but he couldn't do an excessive amount of blitzing that was required for that event. And he's a free to play player. That was end game. I mean, he couldn't do an excessive amount of blitz to be able to get the character. So therefore he was like, bro, I'm, I, I can't compete in arena now. I can't compete here. I can't, I can't do this. So. I'm just going to quit Marvel Strike Force because it's just frustrating because I can't do what I want to do in this game now. And right. So things like that, Red Stars, man, it's about time that they they take away the Elite Store and having to have force players to upgrade their characters there in the Elite Store. I think it's about time, right, that we can just go into our rosters, hit this button right here while we have the gold promotion credits and this hit upgrade character upgrade red star character or upgrade red stars on the character right i think that's also the frustration too bottlenecks that was another thing that was brought up training mats g14s like some of these bottlenecks shouldn't be the case now g14s for players who are not at that place yet in the game i can understand that being a bottleneck but for someone like myself super end game players why are g14s a bottleneck g17 is a new is a new gear in the game G14s, G15s, gear like that should be easy to get. Orange health catalyst should be easy to get. And at the lower levels, T3s are a massive problem. T2s become a massive problem, right? There's this, it's, ball, it's bottleneck on bottlenecks across the board that some of them, I understand, like some of them make sense. Others don't, like others are just really, really dumb. And some things like trading match and G14s to me, don't make sense for an end game player t3s and t you shouldn't be penalized because you go into a higher alliance you should not be penalized because you're weren't you're not doing ultimate six and getting enough t t2 ability materials uh but you're getting an excessive amount of t3 ability materials but you can't use your t3s because you don't have t2s i know some of you guys are just like what the hell are you talking about like that's and that's that's earlier game, mid game stuff. No, but like it's across the board there's like really unnecessary bottlenecks that are there guys so Things like that, I think, are another thing where people were just like, that was another thing that was brought up. 
bottlenecks that just don't make sense to the game are a massive major issue the third thing that was brought up that was another big one for players bugs we understand that there are going to be bugs in the game however there are game breaking bugs that really frustrate a lot of players right red hulk kind of still not working correctly spider weaver is bugged agatha was bugged or not working correctly and then you nerfed her right so it's like or not let's well, technically it's not a nerf because you kind of just reverted it to what it was supposed to actually be doing at the same time though it was going on for months why not just leave it at that point right why change it now because it actively affects players in raid content it affects players in arena now it affects it's gonna affect the saga although they said that they rebalance the saga can we really trust it it didn't get agatha's kit right in the first place so now we're gonna think that they're gonna rebalance it and it's going to work these are things guys that frustrate a lot of players so from the top character cadence release method month-long events farmability red stars everything that involves character stuff that's frustrating bottlenecks unnecessary bottlenecks that are there that frustrates players too and then bugs man that also was a thing too and I could even add in there just this whole forcing players to go to the web store like me personally I don't mind it but I can understand for a mobile game player that's like bro I just want to log into my mobile game and play my mobile game and log out now I have to log into a web store to collect milestones oh my god why not just send me the freaking email just send me the, e the email the stuff man like I can understand why some players would be a little frustrated where that's concerned where it's like bro I gotta log into a web store I just want to log into my mobile game and play my mobile game and not have to log into a website, right? I could completely understand that too. I think that they also need to improve in the game messaging. Like if you put a blog post out or not blog post, but if you put like an announcement out in game, a lot of the time or for the game, a lot of the times it goes to the website, it goes to the discords, it goes to the Reddit, but sometimes those messages don't also go into the game. So players miss those things. I think that's also some communication that needs to be improved and needs to be better. Hey guys, am I missing anything? Let me know what your thoughts are. Like, am I missing something that we didn't talk about here that is one of the things that you would like to see change or some of the issues that are in the game right now that you would like to see improved? Let me know guys where you are, where that is concerned, um, what your thoughts are. But listen, appreciate you guys watching the video. Thank you for like guys for being here. Um, until next time guys, I'll be blessed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video as well. Hit the notification bell. Make sure <laughs> so that you know when the videos do go live, guys. Love you guys much. Until next time, guys. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe.